Hello, my name is Chiu Sun Wu. I'm an associate professor at the University of Tennessee. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about uh, image segmentation and uh, remote sensing, specifically about the segment anything uh, geospatial. You can access the slides by scanning the QR code at the bottom right corner here or visiting this uh, URL. Here is the outline of my presentation. First, I will give a brief introduction to uh, the segment anything model. Then I will uh, highlight the uh, segment geospatial and some of the key functionalities. Lastly, I will show you some uh, additional resources. So on the right here, basically, it's just a demo about uh, segment anything uh, model. And uh, segment anything model uh, is uh, uh, a, a foundation model that can be used to segment uh, images without the need for additional training. Uh, it was released by Meta AI April of the 2023. And here you can check out more information out of, about the website, the data, and also the demo. Essentially, uh, what uh, segment anything can do is to uh, segment any image. So we give an image, and then you can do some uh, image encoding. And after that, you're going to output uh, three masks, so-called mask. And each one is going to have a score. And you can pick whatever, which one you want. The nice thing about this is you don't need to uh, do uh, additional training. So it can be used to segment uh, any images, uh, even the images that it was not trained on. And so this is why I built on top of the segment anything model uh, to uh, use it for segmenting um, remote sensing images. And it's called Segment uh, Geospatial. And here is the website and the, to, to the GitHub repo. You are welcome to check out the GitHub repo for more information. Um, and also I published a short paper describing uh, the package. And also, you, because it's a Python package, you can install using uh, PIP and also uh, Conda. And uh, next, I'm going to quickly show you some key features. Um, so it offers different um, um, scenarios. You can just use the automatic segmentation. So you give any satellite imagery, for example, GeoTIFF, and you will be able to segment the image into uh, different regions. So this is called objects. And um, by the way, so the color here is like just a random color. It doesn't mean anything. but it's nice because you don't need training. You can just segment into uh, different objects. So similarly, uh, for example, you can segment um, uh, greenhouses. So these are the um, big buildings. So you can see it uh, does pretty well compared to traditional uh, pixel base, or you might have to spend time to do uh, training. And you can also extract, for example, agricultural field boundaries like this in this case, right? And um, all you need is just an image, and you don't need anything else. Um, if you have a GPU, uh, perfect, then you're going to run very quickly. Depends on how big is the data set. And then you can use a segment geospatial to compare the data set uh, side by side. Um, besides using the automatic segmentation, you can also use point. Uh, so in this case, you can just place your markers, a couple markers on the map, and you will be able to extract uh, the object you want. So this is called foreground points. If you you want to remove some background uh, points, uh, background area, and you can also place uh, markers as background. Then you will be able to extract um, the objects that you want. So uh, compared to the previous uh, fully automatic segmentation, this one because you're using you are placing the markers, so you know the label. So in this case, I know it's buildings because I placed the markers. So you're basically doing kind of a semi um, uh, automatic uh, segmentation, uh, and you can get the label. So in this case, you can use the extract all kind of features you want, for example, buildings. Um, um, the next example, um, trees, for example, you can draw a bounding box. So besides using a point, you can sometimes draw a bounding box. And then the second NEC model will be able to extract objects within the bounding box. Uh, it's going to be much faster than you uh, trying to segment or to manually delineate uh, the uh, features on your own. You can also use bounding boxes exported from uh, other deep learning models. Um, so previously, um, deep learning models can um, generate some of the bounding boxes. And with that as the first step, you can use that as the input into the segment anything spatial, and you automatically be able to detect all the objects um, within the bounding boxes. Again, this is so, so much faster. Besides the bounding boxes, you can also use text prompts. So this is um, uh, very interesting because you don't even need to place points. You can just say, I want the buildings, I want the trees, and then you can just one click, you'll be able to extract the object you want. And this is using the segment behind the scene is using the uh, segment anything model. Uh, but keep in mind, it's not going to be perfect uh, because it was the segment anything model was not trained on set of images, but you can see it 
uh, performed uh, uh, pretty decently, but you probably need to uh, adjust the parameters a little bit uh, before you can get some uh, optimal result. But this will just makes things so much easier because you don't need a training. You just enter a prompt. Uh, it can be trees, it can be buildings. Uh, for example, you can also do this a swimming pool, right? So if you have an imagery and you want to extract some swimming pools or buildings or trees, you can try just a simple prompt. And uh, you can also export the result as uh, geospatial data. So in this case, I can also export the bounding boxes uh, of those uh, swimming pools uh, without need to do uh, additional training. And um, if your image is too big, you can also uh, segment your space also provide a batch segmentation uh, because uh, you need to feed this into the GPU. So if you don't have a large GPU, you will not be able to process a large uh, area and you can use the batch segmentation mode to automatically segment the imagery. And so every demo that I show you, there at the, at the top here, there's a notebook. So you can click this notebook, you can open in Google Collab, and then you can use the free GPU resources uh, to try things out yourself. And specifically uh, for this workshop, uh, how can you use this one to doing, like, for example, AI using AI and for disaster uh, management. So here, for example, shows you the images after uh, the flooding in uh, Libya. So you can use this one to quickly um, segment the buildings for example from the imagery and then you can compare uh, this side by side with the initial data but if you already have some pre-event uh, building footprint you can use that to do segmentation quickly and get an idea uh, you might need to do some post processing it's not going to be perfect uh, but it saves a lot of time because you don't need to uh, do additional training and uh, lastly, I want to show you some additional resources. Um, so uh, if you're interested in learning more about uh, Segment Geospatial, uh, you can look at my YouTube channel that I uh, regularly publish some of these uh, tutorials about how to use uh, Open Geospatial to do um, uh, mapping and also a segmentation. Um, if you need some data, for example, uh, MaxR release um, uh, high resolution images, um, uh, usually when there's a major disasters and it's free. Uh, I compile the catalog so you can check out this link to get a um, data catalog of all the images available and I also create some uh, interactive web app that allows you to visualize the data easily so these data all can be used for the second NEC model uh, because it's all very high resolution and it's uh, especially good for doing some disaster um, mapping and also this is the web app so for example the first one here this one shows you some of the overall images from the max r open data program and you can compare the data side by side easily just open your browser and then just uh, uh go to the url and then you should be able to load the data source the data and this is very powerful because um, not many people know how to visualize the data or download the data or process the data but with this and you can visually see and then you can pick the area that you want and then you can use that for segmentation. So this one is for the Libya flooding last year. And similarly, this is another one for the uh, Morocco earthquake uh, also last year. And as you can see, it has a tons of images. So uh, using the interactive web that I created, uh, you can visualize the data easily and you can compare the uh, pre-event and uh, post-event uh, images. And then if you want, you can download the imagery and then you can put into your program to do segmentation and then extract the buildings or and do some damage uh, assessments. Okay, so that's all I want to uh, share with you. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you are welcome to uh, reach out to me uh, on social media or by uh, email. Uh, you can scan the QR code here. Thank you very much.